welcome, bitches, one and all, to my reaction to Season 3, Episode 17 of The Vampire Diaries, Break On Through. So last time we had the revelation that Alaric himself is the one who has been going around killing council members. Now, whether this is him going mad, as they believe, or as I believe, that a vengeful spirit has taken him over, we do not know, but I'm very intrigued to find out. So yes, with that said, let's jump back in to the world of The Vampire Diaries. What are you looking for? Wait, why is he in an MRI? Know a tumor, vascular anomalies, anything physical that might explain his behavior. I think we can all safely say it's not physical, my darling. When did you suspect him? That it was Alaric who was killing all of those people? Yeah. It was after he told me about his ring. I remembered a story my grandmother had told me about Samantha Gilbert and her secret journal. Ah. What is this scene? Is his reflection not copying him? I think someone might be taking over. Oh fuck. Yeah, everything's okay. Who are you? I don't think that's Alaric right now. I'm still running with the idea of like a vengeful spirit or something is like piggybacking on these rings. Look, I'm gonna call Bonnie. The rings were made by a Bennett witch, so maybe a witch can reverse the damage. True. Didn't even think of that. I don't want it. I am scared that if it is what I'm saying and a spirit has like piggybacked off, if he takes the ring off and gives it to Elena, is this person stuck in Alaric's body? We're vampires, Elena. We need human blood to survive. We're predators, not puppies. Well, Stefan found a way around it before. Stefan has built himself a delusional wagon, which he's repeatedly fallen off of. What he needs to learn is control. Maybe you're not the right person to be teaching Stefan about self-control. Oof. Cut him deep, Elena. I'm intrigued to see where this goes with Damon's perspective of teaching Stefan control because I'm not too hopeful just because from what we've been told about Rippers, it seems as though that is their nature and it, whether he can control it or not is up in the air. Like, I don't know if it's about learning control because I don't know if control is even possible. So I don't know. We'll see where this goes. I'm intrigued to see whether this new way of life that Damon is proposing will actually benefit Stefan in the long run. Our negatives, some A's, and my personal favorites. Be positive. <laughs> Caroline. <laughs> she's been standing out there all morning. I don't think she's taking this very well. Well, it's only been a few days since she turned. Your mom's still adjusting. Bless her heart. I think she's mourning. Looks like she's mourning her life. I can't feel it anymore. That garden. It's gone. What do you mean you can't feel it? I can't feel anything. Is that related to being a witch and being in touch with nature? Witches have a connection to the earth. We can literally feel nature. Life. Look at how far Bonnie's come, bro. I'm so proud. When Abby became a vampire, she lost it. I don't know how to help her. Because I think there's a... There's a because people can debate all day long whether you be turning from a human to a vampire would be something you would want. Like, would you want this? Because you get eternal life and everything, but you'd have to feed on other humans. But then at that point, you could turn your emotions off. Like, there's you could debate all day long whether it would be a good thing for you if it did exist. But I think the vast majority of us can agree that going from a witch to a vampire is not something you would want because... I feel like, because we saw, what was her name? Gloria. She was able to extend her life with magic. So a witch could essentially live a lot longer than a human being anyway. And you get the benefits of being a fucking witch. Like, bro, if I had to pick between being a vampire and a witch, I would pick witch 1 million percent. So the idea of going from a witch to a vampire, I don't know, That that's weird because especially in universe if you take their feelings of who they are as a person a witch is in touch with nature they are pure they are everything good in the world if you get what i mean so to go from that to a predator who hunts humans who is known by witches as an abomination who is known by witches as the literal epitome of unnatural like that oh that must dig you to your core even if abby like renounced her witchy ways it's still a huge part of who you are. And like Bonnie said, even if Abby wasn't practicing magic, even if she said that her powers had disappeared, she still felt the connection to the earth. And to know that that's gone, to know that so many parts of who she is are now gone, 
Like, ugh, bro, I don't know what that would do to your psyche. Is that Wickery Bridge? Or is it a different bridge? Oh, I remember her saying something, didn't she? They're redoing, they're like doing up Wickery Bridge, wasn't it? Did you bring the sign? Sign? The restored Wickery Bridge sign. The history department promised me would have it today. No, I, 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 I don't have the sign, actually. It slipped, it slipped my mind. I've been busy. <laughs> Get me out of here. My pleasure. You stick around for uh, a bit. I'm iffy, bro. What? Hold up. Is that Sage? But yeah, anyway, before we continue, um... What was I going to say? Oh yeah, I, I I don't know if this is Alaric right now because we saw that shift in the face as if something else took over him and he didn't know what... I cannot remember her name. What is her name? It's Tyler's mom. I'm sorry, my brain today. But he didn't remember what Tyler's mom was talking about and there's just a certain... There's a certain aggression to the way that he's speaking right now that gives off the vibe that this might not be our Alaric. But I don't know, we'll see where this goes. But yeah... Sage. Damon Salvatore, my favorite student. Sage, my hottest teacher. Oh. What are you doing here? I'm just passing through. Oh, come on. No one just passes through. Miss yeah. Especially with the timing of everything. What are you doing here, Sage? Well, I heard Finn was finally freed from that casket your rageaholic brother Klaus carted him around in. Mm, Finn, you just missed him. He left town and didn't tell a soul where he was going. You probably weren't looking for me. <laughs> or quite possibly he forgot all about you. I doubt that. Oh, I love these two. Sorry you came all this way for nothing. Have a nice life. Okay, timings wise, that does that does match up then that she would come back because of Finn. I was a little bit like, what the fuck? Because we've just found out about you and now you're here. But okay. You don't have to read that, you know. I can just tell you what happened. Samantha Gilbert was committed to an insane asylum. She tried to give herself a lobotomy with a knitting needle and bled okay. to death on the floor of her cell. Whoa. If the same thing is happening to Alaric, then there's nothing you can do. I mean, you can't say nothing when we live in a world of witches and vampires, Stefan. <laughs> I'm gonna let you get back to um, whatever it was you were doing. I understand both sides. If Stefan wants to try this thing that Damon is suggesting and trying to learn control, then he's just gonna have to accept that Elena's gonna be judging him because I don't see Elena changing her opinion on that front, but... In terms of Elena's side of things, I do get where she's coming from. I'm, it's like, I'm sort of on Elena's side of things in terms of, I don't necessarily think that this is going to go well, but I'm a bit more open to it because I'm not like <laughs> emotionally attached to it as Elena is. I'm a bit more open to finding out if this does work. More from a like intriguing point of view, because like, I'm just, you know, I'm just interested. Like, can a ripper control their urges? He turned to me so we could be together forever. Oh. Klaus daggered and then locked him away, and I've been waiting ever since. Damn. Me that God. You back our friends. That love lasted long. Why don't you get inside her head and find it? Because it's Ooh. impossible. She's too strong. I bet I could get in there. Sage, she's an original. It's not going to happen. Have you forgotten everything I taught you? Rebecca may be an original, but she's a girl. You find her weakness and exploit it. I'll walk right in. Damn. Let's do it. I am scared for Sage, though. I feel like she's going to be dead by the end of this, but <laughs> we'll see where this goes. You didn't get a thrill back there pushing Sage down? Crushing her dream. True love. True. Maybe I'll tell her. See? Hmm. I think she likes being mean. She doesn't like people being mean to her. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. You cheeky little fucker. Rebecca, I would have said yes already. I'm sorry. I don't know how you have these inhibitions. <laughs> Abby's been asking for you. Oh. I've been pretty busy. I wonder if he knows. Did he know that she was a witch? Because I don't remember if he did. I doubt he did because she like renounced that way of life. So I assume he didn't. But then with all the mix up with getting compelled and everything, did they tell him the truth or did they compel him to forget? That's my question right now. I assume he knows and because they're, they're implying here that... Abby hasn't seen him because he probably doesn't want to see her. So I would assume they did tell him. Hey, hey! Stay away from me. Easy. I was just going to help you carry the firewood up. Damn. Someone's got some trauma. You're scared of her. She's a vampire. Abby didn't choose this. This was forced on her. She could have let herself die, but she didn't. She's trying to make this work so she can be there for you and for Bonnie. So, so just get over yourself. I think it's very easy to say get over yourself because like he's 
very new to this whole world, but obviously I understand what Caroline's saying. He does need to get over himself. My life in a series of police reports. You don't strike me as an angry guy. Which Was it related to um, is Bo going missing? Did he like do, do some shitty regrets? Yeah, everyone needs to find a way to deal with their dark side. Some people meditate. I became a vampire hunter. Mm. Yeah. Listen, there's something that's not in these reports that I need to tell you about. Ominous. Mm. Shoot. Your cousin, Logan Fell, the one who was vampire slayed. I did the slaying. I mean, did you need to say that? <laughs> did you need to say that? I use their blood for what I need and leave the judgment to everyone else. Nice. Although, I have kind of been wondering why you never drove a stake through Damon's heart. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I tried yeah. once. He killed me. There's a lot of history here, Meredith. <laughs> I think that started all this ring stuff was me being angry enough to think I could take on a vampire in the first place. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you got some truth there, Alaric. The thing I find interesting about all of this, though, is that we now have confirmation that that actually is Alaric. So... Bit confused on the whole face changing thing when he was in the MRI machine. Control, remember? Doesn't matter whether it's blonde or blood bags, same principles apply. What'd you say to Elena this morning? Yeah, I think he's drinking away his feelings. Do me a favor, Damon. Next time you talk to Elena, keep me out of it, okay? Gladly. Now, unless you're interested in a sage Rebecca sex sandwich, I suggest you make yourself scarce. <laughs> sage Rebecca sex sandwich. Good luck, Damon. Who are you again? The guy who lives out back. You know, the one you're not related to. Hmm. Wait. I don't like. I don't. I don't. I, I doubt that was their intention, but I do not like the the one you're not related to and the little smile they gave each other. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Caroline and I had a little talk. It sounds like code for Caroline lectured you. Yeah. Maybe, but I needed it. Abby's always been there for me, and now it's my turn. Exactly. I'm sorry about everything. She's very close to his neck. I thought so. I thought so. Abby. Abby. Abby, no, 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 no. Oh my darling. Fuck. That's exactly what we didn't need. Oh, my darling. Patience. Between her craving for affection and her pathological fear of being left alone, our little get together is too tempting to resist. Fucking read her, Sage. He strung you along for 900 years. Didn't bother to call. He's gone. What do you mean he strung you along for 900 years? To him, he slept one day and woke up. Do you know what I mean? Well, this is depressing. What happened to the party? It just arrived. Oh. Like, I know that they have other intentions to, like, get in her head and everything, but... Come on, Rebecca, join in. It's, <laughs> it's so weird, bro. I'm never going to get used to this. Because, like, they're all just vibing, having fun. And then they've got this, like, plate of food, essentially, in this man just sitting there. It's weird. It's sexy how we're both drinking from the same guy, isn't it? <laughs> That is, that is the definitive way to Rebecca's heart. Convince her you want her above everyone else. No, I should just go right now before I hurt Jamie again or you. Mm -hmm. The only way you're going to hurt me is if you leave. Nice one, Bonnie. Nice. I give up on this. Not again. Ooh. That was the perfect thing to say, Bonnie. Well done. Nothing a little vampire blood can't cure. Thank you. Now I need a favor. Oh, yeah. The Alaric stuff. Caroline? So Abby thinks Bonnie can reverse the damage with a spell. I guess the same thing happens with witches who become obsessed with dark magic. They lose control and start acting out their darkest impulses. Interesting. I want... How are they linked, though? Just because, like, the magic got dark? Oh. I need a personal effect of Alaric's. Something he wore before he started wearing the ring. Hi, okay. Bonnie. Uh, yeah, I'll get it. Um, Bonnie... I'm so sorry for everything. Thank you for doing this. Be ready to do the spell as soon as I get there. I have to work fast. I'll see you soon. That was good. That was good. Relationship building. Well, that's worth a try. But she needs something that you wore before you put on the ring. Something personal. There's my wedding ring. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That that ring. Okay, yeah. Um, it's, a good, it's a good idea. I'm a little bit scared. I the... think it's better. You stay here with me. Oh, you and your tranquilizers. <laughs> 
before we continue, I'm a little bit concerned because you've told Alaric this, and if it's going where I think it's going, and it's not that he's acting on his dark impulses, actually, yeah, it could be. It could be that. It's not so much that a dark spirit has taken him over. It's that he himself has sort of developed a split personality between Alaric and, like Bonnie was saying about dark magic, a dark Alaric who is acting on all of these bad impulses, which, ah, yeah, wait, that does make sense, doesn't it? Because it's like he was saying about his past and how he was a violent person and he has this criminal record. It could be that he's acting on those dark impulses. But what gets me is... It, it was all portrayed to be as though um, he was some kind of vigilante. I know that's what not what he actually was, but it's the idea that the people that Alaric went for when he was younger were bad people in their own right. So wh why would he have gone for the first guy that was killed? Because yeah, <laughs> Caroline's dad was a fucking knob and I'm glad that he's dead, but why go for that first guy? What did he do? Or is it just that he's just being aggressive to anyone who gets in his way? I don't know, but yeah, because actually it could be that because he was getting close to Meredith and Meredith had a history with that guy, Alaric's bad tendencies kicked in and he went and killed him. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, anyway, sorry for babbling on. Let's continue. Oh, this makes me nervy. This makes me nervy. So does Sage need physical contact to get in her head then? Okay, they needed the shower to talk. Are you gonna torture me? You're gonna tell me what she's up to? I'd rather show you. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. She's already in. She's got it. She's already got the information. Okay, interesting. I'm excited to find this out. So the only thing we're really gonna be discovering is that she's asking about the white oak tree, isn't it? which Damon is going to very much want to know about, but I wonder if Sage picked up on any other bits. I wonder if she's got any other information that we're about to get revealed. A white oak tree. There must have been a new tree to replace the old. There's another tree. Our family made one of its many fortunes selling lumber. Oh, do you know what I just thought? Maybe Rebecca's a lot smarter than we were led to believe. I don't... <laughs> right, the way that I said that, I did not mean that she is stupid. I'm sorry. I meant more so that we've been led to believe that Rebecca's quite naive and she's going to believe Damon in that he wanted to be with her and all shit like that. But maybe she's smarter than we give her credit and she is literally letting Damon find the information for her to then get it herself. Because that would be quite a smart move. The business archive should be around her somewhere. Get upstairs. Make sure you keep her distracted. Ooh, I'm a little bit sca scared for Sage if she's going to be upstairs with Rebecca alone. Is it the bridge? Is the bridge made of the white oak tree? This bridge, bro, there's, there's something wrong with it. It is linked to so many things in the show. You made yourself perfectly clear this morning, Stefan. You don't want to be around me. I'm not trying to hurt you, Elena. Yeah. I just can't be who you want me to be right now. Sorry to pause again so quickly after the first one, but I just want to have a point about Stefan. I, I like that he said that because I, I get where Elena's feelings are coming from. Trust me, I do. She's, I was about to say was, she is in love with this man and it's so hard to see him go down this path and so hard to see him change. But she, she doesn't really have a right to his feelings at the moment and she doesn't really have a right to tell him what to do. He's trying to be a better person within himself and he's trying his hardest and he's gonna slip up along the way and he's trying a new method with Damon and you berating him and you telling him it's wrong, making him feel shit about who he is, it's not gonna help the situation. So just let him be, let him do what he wants and if it comes back to hurt you, then handle it. But right now, the only thing that's really hurting you is the fact that you have an emotional connection to him and you're upset at the way things have gone. But he's trying, Elena. I don't know. It's very complicated. So I respect her feelings 100%. And I completely understand where she's coming from. But just from an outside perspective, it's just very interesting to see how much Elena's feelings on the matter are holding him back from getting better. You know? She was under suicide watch. No personal effects. No jewelry. You're saying that the violent behavior can still happen even if the person isn't wearing the ring? Oh shit. Meredith, my too. darling. Either one of us is Run. Two days. Don't worry. I've got coffee on. Please don't kill her. Please. 
Her character's so interesting. I want to explore her more. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fingers fucking crossed she's got a couple on her. I doubt she does. Did you find what you were looking for? Yep. 1912, a Salvatore Milling Company chopped down a forest. Its most valuable wood came from an old white oak tree that was used to make the Wickery Bridge. So all the wood stripped from the underside of that bridge is basically a weapon that could kill an original. Yep. You see how this could be a problem for me, right? Yeah, two things on this. One, I see it obviously being a problem for Sage and they might have a difference of interest right now. But then two, has this all been a ruse? Has this all been a lie to try and get the information out of Damon? Could Sage actually be working with Rebecca and this whole thing have just had just been a fabrication to get that information? That would be some fucking twist. But given that Finn had a lot of disagreements with his family, I wouldn't see Sage having a good relationship with Rebecca to do that. But then again, for all we know, Sage and Rebecca could have met up before we were introduced to Sage in the modern time and Rebecca explain and then obviously as Sage has just said she wouldn't want that white oak to be around either so let me tell you something I met the guy you're not gonna miss him I will rip your head off in two seconds if you take one more step <laughs> Damon the way around this was not to threaten Finn we don't know how long this has been going on might be too late it's my family's ring that's doing this to him. It's my responsibility to fix it. I mean, no. <laughs> no. Shut up. That's not yours. Yeah. Elena, come on. Um. Pictures of his victims. Um. Let's go. We have a ring. What? Oh, Damon, I think you're about to find Wikiri Bridge on fire, bro. Jeremy, if anything happens to me, carry on my work. What? Do you have the other ring? Would the ring make you strong? What? It must be cleansed before the work can begin. Mostly some sort of hit list. No, L Lark didn't write this. Who else would have written it? It's like some kind of fucking manifesto. It's not that he's getting angry and killing randomly. He's got a plan. There's something in place here, which is even scarier. I have to get back. Meredith, 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 Meredith. Can I ask you a question? Oh, no my. mustard. I hate mustard. Do you ever feel remorse? You are a council member. And the council was formed to protect the people of this town from vampires, yet here you all are just looking the other way. Ah, so his cleansing of the council is cleansing of people who sort of have Meredith's point of view and they don't see vampires as the threat that evidently he does but that's interesting in the sense of is this acting on alaric's vampire hunter side and it's like bringing out all of the bad stuff within him and it's making him act out upon those beliefs or is it actually what i originally thought it was and he's getting possessed by some spirit which Given the way that this is going, could he be being possessed by the original Gilbert, the one who started the council? I can't remember his name, but is that potentially what's going on here? But Jesus Christ, Meredith, run, my darling. Ah! Run! Shit. Bro, that's one of the scariest things to ever happen in your life, have someone running at you with a fucking knife. Stefan, bro, you better be speed running there. Yeah. Rebecca! Yeah, they're working together, aren't they? I'm just looking out for myself. I told you I'd save your creepy boyfriend. You lied to me, Damon. The originals are linked. If one dies, they all die. Oh, I forgot that's still in effect. I should end you. I'm 900 years old, Damon. Yeah. You're not capable of ending me. Go off, queen. You're long lost, love has a suicide wish. Huh. So when Mama Witch linked them together in a spell, he's the one that volunteered to die. He wouldn't do that. He didn't oh, my darling. He doesn't love you, Sage. And when I do find another way to kill those originals, I'll start with Finn. Yeah, you didn't know that, did you, Sage? But holy fuck. Like, of all the things that I thought it would be, that was the least likely. 
Just because, I don't know, this whole charade that Sage and Rebecca were putting up, it truly felt like they hated each other, which I'm assuming they do. I'm assuming that this is more of a act of a common interest rather than them actually liking each other as people. I still think that when she was saying that Klaus and Rebecca always viewed Sage as like the local hooker, I do think that that is true. I do think that that is their view of her. But like I just said, it's a common interest. They both want to protect one Rebecca herself and two sage wants to protect finn so so interesting but yeah did i did not think that was likely that was just a thing that popped into my head that i was like i mean potentially they could be working together but holy fuck <gasps> hey there where's meredith oh she got called uh, into the hospital for a last minute surgery but she'll be back later where is she did Stefan catch up with you no did you get my ring i, I couldn't find it I guess I'll, uh, I'll just have to go get it. I mean, like, two things that I'm quite concerned with right now is with his cleansing of the council, it's about people who sympathise with vampires, which Elena is probably the biggest sympathiser in the show. So... Uh-oh. Nice! Don't hurt him! I'm trying not to. Where is Meredith? I smell blood. Is that what he's gonna say or something? Wait, I need you to come upstairs with me. I'm gonna need your help. Yeah, I feel like it's because there's a lot of blood. Oh. Oh, babes. Well done. Moment of appreciation for Stefan being able to control that. Well done, my boy. What the hell are you doing here? Just making sure the witch didn't turn into a toad or block of salt. Bunny did a little spell. It's nothing to worry about. It's just something to keep the killer and you at bay. Interesting. Is it solved? So we're going to pack up some of your stuff. We're going to go to the loft just for a little bit. You know, it's like house arrest. Light. But like, what's the plan here? Because I assume the way they said it, it's like Bonnie suppressed it for the time being. These herbs are the binding element of the spell. He needs to take them twice a day. I'll get you more. Abby and I are going to work on the garden. How is she doing? Better. The transition's been hard, but I think she'll be okay. Two things from that. One, it's very interesting because even though she's not a witch, obviously Abby has all of this knowledge from being a witch for so long. So I didn't really think about that side of things. But then also, I love that her and Bonnie are going to work on the garden because she may not have such a connection to it anymore, but you've got to hold on to the things that you can, you know? Maybe she can't feel her garden anymore, but staying in touch with nature, even if she doesn't have that witchy side of her anymore, that could help ground herself and bring her back to feeling the way that she did before, you know? I'm sorry, Bonnie. I, I, didn't, I didn't want this to happen. If she there was knows. anything that I could do to make it different, I, I... It's okay, my darling. Not everything is your fault. I know. Just hard. Please say that you forgive me. Ooh. Of course I do. <laughs> Bro, that made me emotional. It's so funny the things that make me emotional. <laughs> I rarely cry at many things, and like the fact that something like that got to me. <laughs> what are you doing? Abby. You're leaving. Abby. I don't know how to do this. Do what? Be a vampire or a parent? Because I can help you be a vampire. I can teach you self-control, but being a parent, I mean, that's all you. Yeah. I, I fucking hell, Caroline. I'm with you so much here. What the fuck, Abby? Are you kidding me? Bonnie literally said this to you. Like, for us a few minutes, like, 20 minutes ago or whatever, but for her, probably yesterday. She literally said to you, you've run away once before, don't do it again you have that in your mind if that if that alone does not make you want to stay then holy fuck what a bad parent you are holy fuck oh this just this woman angers me so much just the way that she doesn't understand her daughter's feelings doesn't understand the effect that she is having on her and doesn't understand that yes this may be a hard process yes she may have hurt whatever his name is i can't remember but that's just part of the journey. You need to have the strength within yourself to get through that. I'm sorry. That is just... Don't become a parent if this is the kind of person you are.
That's all I'll say. But now you have an eternity to make up for it and you're just gonna throw that away? She's better off without me. She's no, not. She's not. No one is better off without their parents. Caroline knows. Elena knows. So many people in this show could tell you that you're fucking wrong. Are you leaving? Are you being serious? Tell them I'm sorry. Fuck you, Abby. Fuck you. Good riddance. Bye. See you later, love. Nothing pisses me off more than people who have such clear evidence, who've been told so many times by their loved ones what hurts them, what actions that you do that hurt them, and then you continue to do it. Nothing pisses me off more. Oh my God, this has brought out an anger. Fuck you, Abby. Hey, you checking up on me? Jeremy! Do you need checking up on? Well, not flunking any of my classes yet. You got a dog? Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Um, <laughs> you just wanted to take your ring off. <laughs> I just wanted to hear your voice. I, I just miss you. Yeah, yeah, I miss you too. I'm sorry, if I was on the phone and my sister was crying, I would say like, fuck going out with my friends. I'm going to talk to you. <laughs> but it could be related to the compulsion or just Jeremy being a bad brother. <laughs> Find such a good mood. Sage double crossed you. Trees a pile of ash. He's holding Mark's something. Psychopathic alter ego. Was something else made from it? I make the world a better place. Restoring bridges, landmarks, and... The sign from the history department? Historical signs made of the same white oak as the Wickery Bridge. Ah, so smart, Damon. I sold my rage. You should have seen me. We have a weapon. Game's back on, brother. Let's go kill some originals. Well done, Damon. You proper sold the rage, mate. I was 100% believing that, but yeah, nice. So they literally have a weapon right now. And not just that, with that amount of wood, you could make a good like 20 stakes out of that. So go on guys. So yes, and there we have episode 17 of The Vampire Diaries. Another fantastic episode. I, I'm still feeling quite angry about Abby, if I'm being honest with you. It's rare that I get that pissed off with people. It's like I said in the reaction. One of the few things in life that truly gets me riled up is when you put so much effort into explaining to a loved one, you make yourself so vulnerable in explaining to them the issues that you have and what they do that hurts you to your core and the basically, please don't do it again. And yet she just goes and fucking does it again and leaves. You've got so many people, Abby, telling you, Bonnie wants to make this work. She wants to form a relationship with you. She thinks she can do it. She is trying her hardest. She's been nothing but nice to you in this scenario. And you're still going to leave because it's better for her? Shut the fuck up. Caroline is a vampire. Caroline is Bonnie's other best friend. How is this better for her? You're only saying that because you need a scapegoat. You're saying it's better for Bonnie because you don't want to be here, because you don't want to deal with all of this, because it's too hard on you. And that is fucking disgusting. And... Oh my god, I'm getting annoyed again. I'm actually getting angry. So let's leave it at that. I don't like Abby's character. I don't like her as a person. She was really growing on me this episode and then she fucked it all up in one go. So I don't know. Not a fan of her. I don't really want her in Bonnie's life anymore. I know that it would make Bonnie happy to have her mother in her life. And I know that it's going to make her really sad that her mother's gone, but I truly do not want Abby in Bonnie's life if this is how she's going to behave. Absolutely not. Now, moving on from Abby, let's talk about the whole double crossing that we had this episode because I loved the way that it was Rebecca and Sage working together against Damon because it was the same idea of getting Rebecca into a safe space so that Sage could read her. It's the same idea of getting Damon into a safe space so that he doesn't think that Sage is actually going to double cross him. And I don't know. I just love that. But then on that, it's like a double cross on top of a double cross because you've got Sage double crossing Damon and burning down the bridge. But then from there, you've got Damon behaving as though this is the only wood and Sage, you've ruined it all when he knows full well that that sign exists and that there's another like source of the wood that he can get. So I just fucking love that. Now, Alaric himself, you've got a feel for the guy. It's like Meredith was saying at the start of the episode, you really do feel for people who have all of these things happen to them that is completely out of their control. Like he's harming others without meaning to. He's harming others when he literally does not know what he's doing. So you do got a feel for him because he's going to feel guilty. But in regards to his relationships with women, 
holy fuck he literally he married a woman who then wanted to become a vampire and went through with it and is now dead he got with jenna who then was turned into a vampire right at the last second and then murdered slash sacrificed and then now he's finding someone who he started to form feelings for and then he tried to kill her so fucking hell god bless alaric fingers crossed this doesn't ruin his relationship with meredith because i could understand like Meredith herself, we obviously know that she doesn't see it as a Laric trying to kill her, but you can't change how your brain reacts to violence. You can't change how your brain reacts to a scary situation. She is probably going to look at him and her brain will sort of have a fight or flight kind of response because he literally tried to hurt her. He literally tried to hunt her. So that's going to take a while to get past that trauma. But I don't know. I'm really enjoying her character so far. So I hope they explore that a bit more. Now, what else did we have up in this episode? Oh yeah, the whole um, storyline of Stefan getting better with controlling himself, which I loved that. I loved that they showed that because it, not only I love that they showed it, I love that they had Elena in the scene as well because we've already seen this episode that she has a lot of misgivings about the opinion that Damon has of Stefan trying to learn control, which I do, I do have those opinions as well. But like I said earlier, I'm not as emotionally attached to it as Elena. So I'm a lot more willing to explore this and see where it goes. But I completely understand her perspective on it all. But I also understand that it's, it's frustrating because I get that Elena's upset. I understand why she's upset and I understand where she's coming from. But by saying all of this to Stefan, by making him feel guilty, you're becoming a hindrance to the process. Like, he's trying to learn control. He's trying to not view himself as a disgusting being. And you coming along and telling him that everything he's doing is wrong isn't helping in that regard. So, I don't know. I, I, I hope that as time goes on, we can get to a point where I don't think that Elena and Stefan are ever going to be together again. I think that so much has happened. And specifically, I always keep going back to Wickery Bridge just... That whole event would have scarred her to her core. So I don't see them ever getting back together. However, I hope that this allows them to get to a point where they understand each other a bit more. And Elena's more understanding of who Stefan is as a vampire. And they can get to a point where they can be friends again. That's all I want. But yes. Anyway, I believe that covers all of the major points. So let's move on to Patreon questions. Right, our first and only question. Damon had Sage as a teacher and Stefan had Lexi. How do you think that affected them? That is a very, very interesting question. I did not think about the contrast between Sage and Lexi being teachers of them. That's so interesting because I think that I think that a lot of what Stefan and Damon are is very unique to them. It's very much just who they are as people. But you cannot deny the effect that other people would have had of them. And definitely in that sense, I think that each of Sage and Lexi sort of swayed each brother in a certain direction. I think that Lexi definitely swayed Stefan in the idea of being ashamed of who he is. And I don't mean that to say that she literally said, you should be ashamed of who you are. But I think it swayed him on that side of blaming himself for who he is and hating himself for killing humans and all that kind of things. Whereas Sage is much more of a go with the flow. I'm a vampire. I'm strong. I'm a predator and I'm going to live life to its fullest. So I think that they definitely swayed them in that direction. But like I said, even if those two were not teachers of the brothers, I think they would very much be very similar to who they are right now, simply because at, at their cause, I think that this is who they are. Damon is much more willing to accept who he is as a vampire, whereas Stefan is, I think because he's a ripper and he like fully destroys his victims, I think that it weighs a lot more heavily on him, especially like he had a guilty conscience when he was a human as well. So that's only been heightened, but yes, anyway, that was another fantastic episode of the Vampire Diaries. Once again, not a single bad episode this season and not a single bad episode this whole show. So we're very excited to be getting into more of it. But yes, with that said, thank you very much for watching. I've left a link down below to my Patreon. You'll be able to find the early and uncut reactions to the Vampire Diaries and all the other shows that I do. I've also left a link to my Twitch, my Discord and my socials. So be sure to follow them if you are interested. And yes, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.